In this video, we're going to take a look at Pascal's triangle. Now, Pascal's triangle is something that we introduced before we fully take a look at the binomial expansion. Now, what you can see on the right here is a pyramid or a triangle of values. And what Pascal's triangle does, it allows us to quickly see the expansion of, if I just do it in the correct pen color here, 1 plus x to the power of n. Okay. And the way the pyramid works here is we have a 1 on top. And down the sides here, like you can see, we put in a diagonal row of ones, okay, down both sides. And essentially from here, then, the way this works is as we go down, it's made up by the sum of the two above. So this two here is equal to the one plus the one. This three is equal to the one plus the two. Same again here for this three, two plus one, give me that three. As we go down, one plus three gives me four. Three plus three gives me six. Three plus one gives me four. And again, we've got these ones on the side. And we keep going down here, 1 plus 4 gives me 5, 4 plus 6 gives me 10, 6 plus 4 gives me 10, 4 plus 1 gives me 5. And we can keep going like that, okay? But what does this really give us? Well, the way this works then is we can see this first row here, this is for when n equals 0, okay? So this is our, um, when n is equal to 0, so what we get then is 1 plus x to the power of 0, and that would simply give me 1. Okay, corresponding to this very first row here. <clears throat> For the next row then, this is when the power of n here is equal to 1. So we get 1 plus x to the power of 1. And what I get here then is 1 plus x. So what this does is this gives us the coefficient. So I get 1 plus x. Okay, oops, I don't want to put a bracket in there, just ignore me. Let's go to that bracket. And let's keep going here with the powers. So 1 plus x squared, so 1 plus x to the power of 2. So this would now be the third row here. So what I'm going to get then is 1 plus 2x plus x squared. Okay. Plus 2x plus x squared. And I mean, that's what you'd expect anyway from expanding this. But this works now even for higher powers. So we say 1 plus x cubed. Then what we're going to get here is 1, we get 1 again, plus 3x, plus 3x, plus 3x squared, plus 3x squared, and then finally we've got plus x cubed. So notice we just go along here, and that gives us our coefficient. So again, just to highlight this, we've got 1, corresponding to this 1 here. We've got 3, so that's the coefficient of x, so we get 3x. This 3 here is the coefficient of x squared. And the final we've got this 1 here corresponding to x cubed. Let's just keep going. We'll do one more power here. So 1 plus x, 1 plus x to the power of 4. Okay. Well, in this case, again, we just go along this row now. So we're going to get 1 again, plus 4x, so plus 4x, plus 6x squared, plus 6x squared, plus 4x cubed, so plus 4x cubed. And finally, plus x to the 4. Okay. Now, like you can see, this is a really handy way to quickly expand anything of this form 1 plus x to the power of n. Okay. So, that's a very brief introduction there to Pascal's triangle. And it essentially serves as preliminary material now to the binomial expansion, which is what we're going to take a look at in the next video.